They can't go to grammar school, you know, till they can read, and many of their parents can't teach them. Where is this school? Right here in the kitchen. I don't know much about children, said dubiously. You know how to read, don't you, John Holbrook? Told Dr. Bulkley. You can read as well as he can. Kit started. Had John repeated Dr. Bulkley the conversation on the dolphin? Likely not, or he would never have recommended with her. She had never dared to mention books in that household where there was no book all at all except the Bible. Yes, of course I can read, she admitted cautiously. Well, they are going to send Mr. Elizabeth Kimberly, the schoolmaster, to test you. Then the school will begin next week. Father is pleased too, Kit. We'll both be earning wages. Real wages? Every child pa pays four pence a week. Sometimes they pay with eggs or wool or such things, but instead it will help Kit a great deal. The more she thought about it, the more pleasant the dame school sounded to Kit. Surely, if she were earning wages, they would no longer expect her to scrub floors and weed the onions. Even more, a feeling of satisfaction, even of triumph, began to grow in her mind. Later that day, she, as she sat alone with Mercy over their wool combs, she spoke her thoughts aloud. If I am earning wages, she said suddenly, then perhaps you will think I am of some use. Even if I'm not a boy, she could not keep out of her voice the bitterness that had rankled all, uh, 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 had rankled all these weeks. Mercy laid down her carding and stared at her cousin. What do you mean, Kit? The first night I was here, confessed Kit. Judith said, if I only had been a boy. Oh, Kit, tears suddenly flooded Mercy's eyes. You heard that? Why didn't you tell me before? Kit looked down in embarrassment. She wished now that she had, no, had held her tongue. She didn't mean what you think, Kit. It's just that father needs a boy so much to help. Mercy hesitated. Mother has never told you much about our family, has she? She went on. You see, there was a boy there, first child, two years older than I. I barely remember him. We both caught some kind of fever. I got well except for this leg, but he died. I didn't know, whispered Kit, stricken. Poor Aunt Rachel. There was another boy, Jeff Judith. Mercy continued. He lived only a week. Mother said it was the will of God, but sometimes I wondered... He was very tiny, born early, but on the third day he had, be, had to be baptized. It was January and terribly cold. They said the bread froze on their plates in communion that Sunday. Father bundled him up and carried him to the meeting house. He was so proud. Well, of course, that was a long time ago, but after that, Father changed, and it has been a struggle trying to manage with a son to help. without a son to help. That's all we meant, Kit. Kit sat silent, her own bitterness forgotten. I will try harder to understand him, she vowed. But oh, poor Aunt Rachel, who had been always laughing.